Okay, so we'll do some problem on uh, conditional uh, densities and arising from a, a picture. So let's say I'm given a, a random variables x and y whose joint density is from is 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 a constant in this picture. So that's what I'm told. Okay, so I'm told that the joint density of x and y is constant on this picture. So now, uh, how do I then how do I find the joint density once I know this fact? The way I do it is I know that if it's constant, the whole integral has to be one, right? So it means the the joint the joint density should be one over the area of this picture. But the area of this picture is what this is a rectangle of size two and length 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 two and size one. This size one, size one. So total area is three. So I mean the the density should be one over the area in this region. Region is 0 less than x less than 1, less than y less than 2, that's this part. And this region is uh, 1 less than x less than 2 and 0 less than, less than 1. So, so I get 1 over 3 in this region and this region and 0 otherwise. That's joint density. Now let's try and do let's try and do the first question. Let's try and find out the marginal. So what is f sub x sub? Or well, let's do f sub y. What is f sub y? It's the same thing because it's symmetric in some sense. If you've not seen the picture yet, it's kind of symmetric in x and y, right? So let's see. So now, what is x? What is uh, joint density? Mass density. So f sub y at y. Let's do that. So the answer is the following. So f sub y. Let me write in blue this time. F sub y at y will be equal to integral from infinity infinity f of x y dy. Now, now. This is going to be equal to 0 if y is outside 0, 2. Because only when y is in 0, 2 is density positive. So therefore, this is going to be equal to 0 immediately if y is not in the interval 0, 2. Then if y is in the interval 0 to 2, all you have to do is f sub y at y splits into two parts. One part is when x is between 0 and 1. And the other part is when x is between 1 and 2 and y is in 0 and 1, right? So that's what I to check. So if we check the, so, so it is dx, I'm sorry about that. dx. So let's say, let's say you split this up into two parts. One is when x is between 1 and 2. So it's, so x is between 1 and 2, f of x, y, dx, plus 0 to 1, f of x, y, d1. That'll be this thing, right? So now this is going to be equal to what now? This is going to be equal to, when x is between 1 and one and 2 and y is between 0, one, 0 and 1, only then this is true. So this is not going to matter. Let's say, let's say y is between 1 and 2 now. But in two cases. So first case is 0 less than y less than 1. Then both, both pieces matter. So when x is between 1 and 2, y is 1 third. fx one third is 1 third, 1 to 2, plus this is also going to be 1 third from 0 to 1. And that's going to be x by thing, x by thing. It's going to give you one third plus one third, and that's two thirds. Now, when x is between, so let me just do one step before this. So, when, so equal to uh, the density is one, one third dx plus zero to one. The density also is one third dx. Dx should be there. Sorry about that. Very good. So it's two thirds when y is between zero and one. So what happens when y is between one and two? So this is the case when I'm doing. Sorry about that. So the case I'm doing. So let's do the case when y is between one and two. When y is between one and two, f sub y at the point y is equal to one to two again f of x y dy plus dx, sorry, dx, and then 0 to 1, f of x, y, dx. Now if you look at this thing, when y is between 1 and 2, uh, sorry, y is between 0 and 1, both happens, but 1 and 2, only this part is, is, is affected. This, when x is between 1 and 2, the density is 0. So I mean, this is going to be equal to, it's going to be equal to, sorry, one, integral 1 to 2, 0 dx, plus integral 0 to 1, 1 third dx. 
So it's going to be one third. So therefore, the joint that my density of y is going to be equal to what now? Let's write it down properly so we all clear. So it's going to be equal to make this all the way clear. Very nice. It's going to be equal to so f sub y at the point y is equal to two thirds when zero is less than y less than one and one thirds when y is less than between one and two and zero otherwise. Right. So very good. So now that's the margin density. Suppose I went I went and do the following. I want to compute f of the density of x given y equal to y. Okay. That's going to be equal to what? That's going to be equal to f of x comma y by f sub f sub y at y. So here y is fixed. So let me make me mark the mark the y in purple. So the y is fixed. X is the one that's changing. Okay. Very good. Let's check that now. Here also y is very. Here also y is fixed, and x is the one that's changing. So fixed value of y. Okay. So again, you have to be careful now. Where where does y lie? So let's say let's let's first do the case when when y is between zero and one. So let's do the case. So this is equal to. So y is between zero and one. So y is between zero and one. Then f x y has f x y has 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 the value one third. For x between zero and two, that's easy to see, right? So that's easy to see. So that's going to be equal to one third at the top and divide by two thirds, right? That's the exact value. So that's been y between zero and two. Zero less than x less than or equal to two. That's the value. And the other thing is going to be the following: when y is between one and two, when y is between one and two, we know x takes the density x takes positive value only when x is between one and two. So x between zero and one, sorry, zero and one in this area, right? So the, what you're going to get, you're going to get one third by one third. So one third, and f sub y is just a one third. So it's going to be zero less than x, less than one, and then one third and zero otherwise. So these are three cases that you get for the country density of x given y equal to y. Depending on where y is, the value changes. So what do you get now? This is going to be equal to. Let's write this down properly. It's going to be equal to. The first part is just one half. The second part is just one, and the last part is zero. So first part is one half. Then y is between zero and one, and x is between zero and two. Second part is one half when uh, one when x is between zero and one, and y is between one and two. And x is between zero and one, and it's zero otherwise. So that's f sub x given y equal to y. So now that's the country density. It's quite nice to nice to update. It's not, it's not an easy calculation. One has to just keep track of the exact parts where density is positive. So first we computed the density of x f x y exists one over the area. That was the hint we took here, right? This is one is like one over the area, right? One over the area. That's the constant value of the density, right? And this we integrated out and found the density of y, just integrating out the x value in this, right? This is what we did here. This is the mass density. And the last one we did was the conditional one, the conditional density. Right. So now one can ask, suppose one can ask, let's say, what is the, let's say, next question one can ask is, so in this question, what all we answered, we answered what f of y was, what is f x given y equal to y, right? That's what the two things we answered here. So one can now ask, what's the conditional density of x given, let's say, y equal to 3 half, let's say, 1.5, right? Like what is this? Right? And what maybe we can ask even the question: What is the variance of x given y equal to one half? Three half, sorry. So one way of answering this question is: You could one could one could take the following, and then one could use the formula for the country density, 
Control expectation and control variance and do the whole exercise. But I will do it a little differently. I will not do it like this. What I will do is I will I will just look at the density. So what is f of x given y equal to 1.5? Right? What are the density going to look like? Let's, let's go back up. So it's going to be equal to what now? When y is equal to 1.5, I have to focus on this region. It's just the value 1 when x is between 0 and 1. So that's going to be equal to so it's going to be equal to uh, 1 when x is between 0 and 1 and 0 otherwise. Right. That's quite easy. Right. That means this implies that x given y equal to 1.5 is uniform 0, 1. Right. So that means therefore, therefore what? That means immediately you know the mean of x given y equal to 1.5 without calculating from uniform random variable itself, we know the mean is just one half, right? And the variance, we know exactly it's just b minus a by 12. So b, b minus a whole squared by 12, right? So it's going to be x variance of x given y equal to 1.5 is same as 1 minus 0 whole squared by 12, and that's 1 over 12. So it's quite nice. It's immediately you get the answer without doing any competition because the moment you understand that y equal to y, x given y equal to 1.5 is uniform then the calculation is immediate very good